watching birds um, is exciting for me. <laughs> just uh, seeing them flying around and stuff. We're seeing some ring-billed gulls flying around and just, just fun. Kaylin O'Connor has been birding since he was a boy. In fact, his mother says his first word was quack. Now he shares his love for birds by guiding for the RDCO and other avid birders. I find birding is a great way to kind of plug in to the natural world. The BC Bird Trail has added Kelowna to its stops as they try to connect bird enthusiasts with the local tourism industry and businesses. <laughs> Kelowna is a really great spot. It's pretty accessible to tourism from all over the world. We have a lot of trails. Talking to some of my friends, like the best birding spots in some of their towns might be like sewage plants and stuff like that that'll draw in a lot of birds. But here we have so many beautiful regional parks. The Okanagan is already kind of a mecca for tourism. So there's a lot of small businesses that are probably going to really benefit from getting the shout out through the BC Birding Trail and that kind of thing. And it's just a great way to connect people, uh, boost our tourism industry. Even though we're heading into winter, Okana says there are still a couple of months left as birds begin migrating south. Still a lot of flocks moving through. Um, right now we're seeing a lot of ruby-crowned kinglet flocks coming through, a lot of white-crowned sparrow flocks, and yellow-rumped warblers. Those are the main three that you're hearing a lot, seeing a lot this time of year. Some people may remember the movie The Big Year with Jack Black. It was about birders who were trying to see as much of the local wildlife as they could in a single year. Well, part of that movie was shot at Vasso Lake. The next big opportunity for local birders to get involved will be the Christmas bird count, which takes place in December. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.